So let's start at the top because <coughs> there's this Teddy Fresh controversy that's annoying the f*** out of me. Mm-hmm. Um, this has been popping up for a few months, uh, yeah, on and off. And, well, here's the post that was going big on the, our subreddit yesterday. Now, first of all, what's so sus about this? How many awards did this get? Who's giving awards on, like, a hate post? Like, I saw it after three hours, and it had, like, 20 awards. And my what my theory is is that this is being fueled by Trisha Stans and Keemstar and possibly Cav Cav, you know? And actually, I have evidence for all that stuff, which is pretty interesting. Nine awards. I mean, what the fuck? Who's paying for this shit? Uh, who's naturally on our website? Who's like, I'm going to pay Reddit because I fucking love this post. This is what's up. <laughs> it says, these employees anonymously spoke up for a reason. I think it's fair people see this. Mods are taking anything with glass door in the title. By the way, it's not like we don't have like a block on the word. <laughs> yeah. I know that cracked me up. <laughs> like, it's like a slur. <laughs> yeah, totally. As I was making this, the TF Glass door link stopped working on all my devices. What? Let what me know if you can act. It's like riddled with conspiracy theory. You know what I mean? It's just written like in a fucked up way where it's like they're taking down everything. I have the to link write in code. Stopped working. Like <laughs> I, I, like we controlled the Glass door yeah, website. Yeah, or? exactly. It's all conspiracy. Uh, and what basically you find on Glassdoor is a bunch of really bad reviews about uh, the working conditions at Teddy Fresh. Um, and what's really weird about these reviews... Okay, first, the first thing I need to tell you about Glassdoor is that anybody can write a review there about anything of any position, of any time... They can say anything they want. There's no moderation. There's no even opportunity for the company to respond. There's literally no oversight at all. I could go to Nike right now and be like, yo, I worked here as a shoe technician. And, uh, you know, I'm just saying. My boss slapped me yeah, every day. Slap me right across the face. They put baby foreskin in the... Uh, and the sole of the shoes. That's what makes them so comfy. You <laughs> oh, can write that, actually. Interesting. What's really interesting about it is that Teddy Fresh has been in business for five long motherfucking years. And all these reviews started springing up six months ago. Five years, nothing there. And then all of a sudden, six months ago, there's like all at once, like 15 fucking negative reviews. And... Some of them say shit like, uh, I overheard one of the owners saying, I like to manage my team like Lord of the Flies. Did yeah. you see that? <laughs> yeah. yeah I, think I remember somebody mentioning like, that in the comments. Do I manage you guys like Lord of the Flies at all? Or maybe a little bit, eh? Is anyone dead on the floor at the end of the day? <laughs> Not yeah. really. Yeah, no, there's no dead piggy or Sincerely, whatever. Sincerely, you guys oh, are the best piggy. Rip the, Shout out to Piggy. Rip the that Piggy, is, my deserve yeah, that. that. Still not over English. Piggy's death. Yeah, right? I know. That was upsetting. It's insane. But I, I don't know. I mean, like, maybe maybe there's a couple that are real there. And it obviously, it really is sad to see. And it, I mean, I'm, I, I take it very seriously. And... I do believe that we're improving the company all the time and constantly working on it and constantly trying to make sure it's a really good environment for our employees. We try to make everyone feel like they're they're valued because we really do value everybody that works for us. It's I mean, it's just like it's so important to us. And I think that our environment is really positive. I don't think it's toxic. I mean, I, I'm there like all the time. I, I get along great with everybody. I feel like we all collaborate. It's like, it's a fun place to work at. So I don't know. I mean, maybe a couple of those are real and it's sad and I do take it seriously and I will make sure that if there is valid criticism in there, we take it into consideration and we're accountable. But like something there also doesn't make sense with the amount of the reviews and stuff like you said with yeah, the, the Lord of the Flies. Care. Yeah. Comment or I don't know. Well, what's okay. Like 
like you said, I'm willing to concede that maybe one or two of them is real. I don't know. I have no way of knowing. I mean, they but never, like, guys, the, the, is, the website never reached out to us to confirm. They like, don't. They hey, don't this, is this person really from that position at your company? That never happened. So I have no idea. But the thing is, when you're working in a job for five years, people come and go and every breakup isn't always amicable. And some people, I'll be honest, some people are shitty employees and they suck and you need to fire them. Mm -hmm. That's just reality of owning a fucking business. And sometimes they're pissed off because whatever, I don't know. But the truth is, I don't know what's real and what's not. I mean, obviously, people are going to be bitter when they get fired. Some people. But the majority of those are just total bullshit. And like, I just hate that people keep bringing this up and parading it around. And I see people do stuff where they're like, they'll find one clip of something I said years ago where I'm like, oh, Hila's a bat hard ass and she rules with the iron fist. Something like I'm saying facetiously. I know. And I don't even and know. Go, you like, said that once. Which proves all these are true. I don't even know what you meant when you said that. It was so long ago. But it's actually like nothing to do with how I work with people at Teddy Fresh. Like. I don't know. It was probably mostly a joke and like <coughs> I remember that, but it was so long ago and it wasn't like anything serious. And no, I don't I know I'm not like that. So I don't know. Well, you'll be relieved to hear that Sarah Mentz says she's worked at TF for 45 years and she has good things. She says it's great. <laughs> yeah. But what I'll say is like, um, I mean, we work. Teddy Fresh was right next door. We mm -hmm. all are here together and we work with these guys. You know, Lena worked for Teddy Fresh for a year. Zach's girlfriend, Chantel, works at Teddy Fresh. Mm -hmm. It's not like, dude, we're not fucking turning people into horse glue over there. It's like a good working <laughs> no, condition. I'm jealous. They're always having a party over there. They got arcade games. Always a good yeah. time over there. Karaoke Every time parties. I walk in, karaoke, yeah. Yeah, utopian work environment. Ping pong. Ping pong. How can we don't got a ping pong table? It's a machine? utopia. There's ping pong. Yeah. yeah. Why don't we have a ping pong table over here? Table. Get a ping pong table. We got Mortal Kombat. <laughs> You're approving that purchase? I have beef with yeah, that, yeah. honestly. You have beef with what? I, work, I worked at an uh, office with a ping pong table, and that shit is so annoying. Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> what? I was trying to work, and all the <laughs> ping pong, ping pong. <laughs> okay, I hate enough. to be the hater, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. Interesting. Maybe, I, maybe I'm uh, You, you have a point there. <laughs> they keep it to after hours, and after work. By the way, this yeah, shit yeah. always yeah. this shit always comes up. It's just, just so fucked up, and it's so obvious to me that it's all bad faith. Like, we've worked so hard, specifically Hila, to build this company and do it the right way. And I feel like there's really nothing bad you can say or criticize Teddy Fresh for. We've done everything the right way. We've done it, like, ourselves from the beginning. And, you know... People are always looking for a reason to tear it down. They're always looking for reasons to tear it down. Like my myself and this show, there's plenty of shit you can fucking uh, criticize me for. You can make a billion exposed videos on me. But Teddy Fresh is not like that. It's like clean and wholesome. And we did it right. You know what I mean? It's just not a controversial fucking company. It's just not. And uh, every time something happens, like we're doing this big 50% sale, because we want everyone to have the opportunity to get some shit at an affordable price because the world is shit right now. And it's like, it always happens around that, like a big collab or sometimes we announce something or whatever it is, it's always pops up like, did you know that they're like the mm -hmm. worst fucking employees ever? Right. Um, and it's just, and you know, it's just fucked up. And I even see fans, people love Teddy Fresh, who are like, man, it sucks to see that uh, they're horrible employees. And it's like... You see me interacting with my employees fucking 12 hours a week, mm -hmm. you know? Love these guys. They're a family. I mean, I don't yeah. even think of them as employees. Family. family. Stop. <sighs> oh, yeah. Haters were saying that we stole the money when we fucking raised like $100,000 for charity. Mm -hmm. There's just like, it doesn't matter what we do. We always try to do the best thing. We, you know, it's like, and every time we fire someone, we give like way over the industry standard of severance. We we give really good severance. Huge severances we give whenever our we have to list really go. good conditions too. Like we started this um, Friday, they only work until one because it's like Friday summer. We just want to let everybody have some more free time. Um, everybody gets <laughs> like free clothing all the time. You know, it's just like little things. I don't feel like I need to say it. I don't want to like. <clears throat> 
brag about what we do to make it a nice place but she it really not. is a nice place to work at and like i'm there all the time and we all love each other and we have a great environment there so it's not like what it's being portrayed to be and it just sucks to see it because it's really far from the truth i mean and i'll say we've gone out of our way that like every employee is paid over the industry standard we have as good as benefits as we can offer, which is like pension, healthcare, dental, vision. Mm -hmm. We have. Um, um, I mean, we consult yeah. with HR people too all the time if there is anything. And it's not like um, we're just winging it over there. And I don't know. We do everything by the book. It's not. Oh, yeah. Paid time off. You apparently, mm -hmm. that's crazy to me that people don't even get paid time off. But yeah. What, I don't know what it is, like two weeks or something over there. I don't know. Somebody in the chat is chiming in. They said they worked at Teddy Fresh and Ela was amazing. Um, Someone in chat? Yeah, she's there? assertive and strong, but Ethan would come in and constantly rip ass. And oh, stop <laughs> it. That's just not right. That's just not true. See, that's the, that's the kind of thing you'll read on uh, Glass Door. Glass door. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually nicer than most of the shit written there. <laughs> but actually, you know, so and it's like anyone else that's trying to run a company doesn't have to deal with this kind of bullshit, you know, but it's like because of who we are, everybody's taking shots. And there's so many people that hate me. And I'll t I have actually some really interesting receipts. Mm. Um, like, look at this. This is a Keemstar. OK, Ethan, from <laughs> two weeks ago mm. on a podcast. With you know, 150,000 views, talking about this before it ever became a thing, right? I mean, it's been a thing, but like a recent thing where it got posted and got like a billion uh, upvotes and rewards. But listen to Keith start talk about this, okay? Ethan's wife, because I think she owns Teddy Fresh or Freddie Fresh or whatever the fuck it is. Freddie right? Fresh, bitch, you know what that's called. Yeah. That that's. He says that every time he brings someone up, <laughs> yeah. AB or or whatever his, is that his yeah. name? AB is that his name? Yeah. Yeah, you know what's funny? He acts like he doesn't know anything about us. And then in this interview, he exposed himself so much that like he knows every fucking little thing. It's crazy. <laughs> like, he's such a fan, bro. Such fan behavior. You got to get your employees <coughs> under control because they hit me up on Instagram nonstop. Dude, you need stronger ND. Yeah. Every, they're hitting him up all, all the, the fucking time. time. Yeah. He's obviously, he's lying. Okay. The type of people that work at Teddy Fresh don't know who Keem they don't know is. who the fuck Keem <laughs> like they're, they're not they're these not, are fashion people these are industry people they're not in the youtube no you know they don't know who Keem star, no. Keem star nobody knows who you are your channel's fucking dead bro terrorist <laughs> like sorry but that shit's that that age of people going to do with shit is like uh ancient history anyway nobody's buying that okay yeah, when I was like, I'm telling you, and they're not happy. They're very upset. Well, some of them, what not the all. Fuck? Of them. Many complaints. Actually, somebody linked me this. Um, there's a place where you can uh, you can rate a place of employment. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought oh, I thought he was about to go like hey, they gave me a Google door. Doc that hasn't been released yet. I'm like, what the fuck? No, this this. You know, I like some ordinary gamer. After like our whole beef, we kind of made up. But I just don't know why he keeps platforming Keemstar to fucking lie and say shit like this. Uh, I don't know how you can continue to be friends with someone like that. I mean, he's the reason that ordinary gamer made that video in the first place. That he had to erase and apologize for about me. And yet he still has him in his fucking makeshift bedroom. Uh, that looks like he just basically, uh, it's weekend at middle school. And uh, <laughs> he's going to play some like, you know, World of Warcraft all day after this. And fucking jerk off into a sock and then go take a nap. To me, to heart. Was that him trying to say? You can't even say his name. I, I'm not defending Muda Hart. Um, I don't think he should. But in his defense, I guess I would say that Keemstar, like, if you make a video about Ethan, he builds you up as best he can. He had him on the podcast after that. You know, he, he'll he build your career. He'll take the smallest channels possible, but if you talk about Ethan, he'll help uh, you out. Right. Right, I know that. But he was or his channel was already doing pretty well before all that. But whatever, whatever. But it, that was a long time ago. Somewhere in a gamer has his own thing, and it's just fucking weird. It's like, bro, you platforming this guy who's been lying about me. He's lying here. And it's just fucked up, dude. This guy is just a piece of shit. I thought he was about to go like, hey, they gave me a Glass Google door. Doc that hasn't been released yet. I'm like, what the fuck? No, this, 
this girl, this girl was trying to leak stuff, and I told her, I go, don't, like, you're gonna get sued. Yeah, like, don't. right. Yeah, I love that. He starts worried about the employee. Yeah, mm. right. Instead of trying to bash us, he's so worried. Basically, about what person. that means is somebody trolled Kim Star and sent him some made up shit, and Kim Star knows it, so he was like, "Yeah, I can't, I can't run with this because it's obviously made up, but or, I can just allude to it." Or right, or he's making it all up. Possible, same thing. And he man. just wants to tell what people to it? go check out Glassdoor, which it's likely a lot of those mm -hmm. reviews are written by him or his homies because there's no fucking oversight. Told her, I go, don't like you're gonna get sued. Like, don't, <laughs> don't do it. Like, right. there, okay. I had an opportunity to really shit on you guys, uh -huh. and I did not take it. Yeah, um, <laughs> I put my petty beef aside and was yeah. looking for the the, the well being and safety of one of your ex employees. Yeah, this is him. This is yeah. him participating <laughs> in the petty beef. He's yeah. trying mm -hmm. is what AB calls the Kim slide. Yep. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get people to talk about this, to turn it into an issue mm -hmm. without actually having to report on something that's not real. I'm busted. Yeah, you're a fucking piece of shit, dude. If it did happen, someone's probably like, I have some dirt on Teddy Fresh, and they're like, and Kim's like, what do you got? And then they sent the picture of your bare ass to him. Uh, yeah. that's prob <laughs> People do that all the time. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Because he has been trying from the beginning of Teddy Fresh. He's always been trying to find something about it. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. And not just him. Yeah. Like, there's and a community of, like, Trisha stands who ate my fucking guts. And this glass this door reviews not, are always posted there. I'm not talking about her. Not, no, it's not has nothing to do with not, Trisha. Okay, yeah. Just Trisha say has, that. I'll say Trisha has nothing to do with it, but there's a community of psychos that has nothing to do with her. She doesn't interact with them. It's not her fault. I'm just saying that it's always posted there and people there are participating in the same thing. So it just became like a shitting ground for people to be like, oh, I worked at Teddy Fresh and they treat us like Lord of the Flies and I emailed Keemstar. <laughs> like, what evidence could they even have? You know what I mean? If you're just an employee of Teddy Fred, mm -hmm. what do you got that's so damning that you can send Keemstar? Right. Like, what? What? Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing. If it you was something, it. he definitely would have shared it. Uh, of yeah. course. <laughs> yeah. Of course. <laughs> this guy goes, <laughs> yeah. this guy has no limit to what he'll do to try to ruin my life. And that's why I fucking hate his guts. Employees who want to really fucking shit on your company. Uh, cause I knew you would sue them. Team star, shut up. Yeah, because we Thanks. sue people right and left, right? Like we still to this day never sued anybody. Yeah, so what are you talking about? How many people have we sued? We have never right. sued right. anybody. Zero. Never. If never. if we would ever sue somebody, it would be you, Kim Star. <laughs> and you're still not sued. Yeah. So <laughs> Def Doodles took the mantle yeah. of yeah, yeah. that one. But I'm just saying, like, it's all such bullshit, dude. It's such fucking bullshit and it's just sucks dude you know it just breaks my heart that um this thing that we've worked so hard for and uh mostly Ela, honestly is just always under the microscope of fucking pieces of shit and i also have other leads here um we have evidence that bobby lee uh <laughs> was writing some of these reviews oh my for, as revenge for the mole thing. Right. <laughs> actually, here's a ex photo leaving a Teddy Fresh review on Glass Door. Keemstar, actually, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Um. Oh yeah, there was something interesting here. Apparently, there was even a subreddit called Teddy Fresh Exposed that was made four months ago. I didn't even know about this. Um. But that's from, it's like, dude, what are you yeah. doing? I actually went on that sub and asked them to prove if they ever worked at Teddy Fresh, and nobody could give any solid evidence that they did. They're giving Kev Kev energy. Also, the mods were all new, and their accounts looked like sock puppets. Mm -hmm. I tried to go back to that sub, but I can't find anything. It seems like it's been banned or said private. Did any of you guys ever see that sub? I didn't even know about I this. Never, yeah, never knew about it. it. No. Interesting. Too much wine, sorry. Um, I just got my new Teddy Fresh and found this. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, they're actually slaves. Uh. <laughs> Did you see the comments on that below? Hope you called the cops because it's obviously not good. Did you? Did you conclude Ethan Ela wouldn't hold it together? I would like a response, please. Well, awesome. I. Uh, Why are you even on our subreddit? I feel it. Like, no, before we true. before people jump down their throat, I feel like that might be a joke. Click it and look at their profile, see what their comments are. Okay. I feel like that's real. I feel like it might be sarcasm. 
I don't. I just want Ethan to comment on this. Uh, I don't think it's real, but we should still wait for Ethan to comment on this send help thing. I will never order TF again. That person is definitely joking. I don't know. Click mm -hmm. it. Yeah, <laughs> You'd be sure. surprised, bro. <laughs> Oh my God. With Reddit people, I always just assume the worst. Yeah. Because I think that they're all being mean no matter what. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to yeah. give them a little bit of benefit of the doubt. I'm, I'm trying to find the thread right now. I'm, I'm on it. I'm looking. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I do have to say, Chantal and I uh, commute together to work and, you know, always ask each other, how's your day? And she's always speaking very positively about her job and she loves it. She's a part of a team and she has nothing but the utmost respect for her job and what she does and she just enjoys every aspect of it. Thank Eric, you. Eric just want to throw that Thank in you. There. And we love her by the way. Yeah. She's yeah. so good at her job. Yeah. Here's the comment and then somebody said never forget the backslash s my friend and I said I just noticed the boy people sure okay, are bad at there noticing. You go. Well the problem See, is they're joking. Okay, they're joking. King, queen. The problem is there's people on Reddit if you go to these hate subreddits they're leaving comments like that. It is bull yeah. And they believe I understand. Over. It, it, it Somewhat believable, but you know, yeah, it tracks with our subreddit. <laughs> yeah, and it's I like mean, stuff's gonna happen like this, and we just obviously it's like, <coughs> it's like part of what we do, so that's fine, and we're used to it. But it sucks when it actually gains like traction on Reddit and then gets like thousand upvotes, and then at that point we need to address it. Yeah. So that's just why we're talking about it. It's like I, I understand that this stuff's gonna happen, so. I I don't want to seem like too much like I don't know, we're we're being whiny or something. It's like it's fine. This is gonna happen. We're we're on the internet. This is what we do. Well, and there was a big subset of people that you know, rightfully or not, were demanding some sort of response to this. So you're addressing it. You know. Yeah. I mean, Look at this title: toxicity at its finest. What? I mean, what what does that even say to you? Like, how fucking bad is that? If it was a toxic environment, don't you think that you, some of us would know that? Like, that bad. That bad. Um, let's see. Yeah, someone put a lot of time into these. It's all about toxicity, which is like... I don't know. Either, I'm sure there's some criticisms for of, I'm, yeah, of, of the way that we work on Teddy Fresh since we're... Like, you know, kind of, we're new to this and it's all a lot of learning, but toxic? I don't know. Sinking ship? You know what I mean? How do you define that this is a sinking ship? Like, what? Yeah, sinking ship. That's. <sighs> yeah, it's just, it's bullshit. It sucks. It's stupid. Toxic. And like working for 13 year old mean girls? That is so not the case. <laughs> There's no way. It's all about the leadership, too, which is weird. Bad leadership, toxic. Which is us. Old, you're not a 13-year-old mean girl. Yeah, exactly, which is us. And um, you know what? Like, first of all, I know it's not toxic there. Obviously, it's me, so you can take it or leave it. I'm not... Uh, whatever. But if that's the biggest criticism, hey, there's no abuse. There's no, like, harassment. There's no, there's no actual, like, problems. They all say that they have a problem with me and that it's toxic. Oh. Take it for what it is. I don't know. <laughs> Look at this. This shit is crazy, bro. Depression and anxiety and the little things keep you up at night. What? Living in a glass house with no friends and friends are just fans that you never met or care about. TF employees are not in the public eye like H3, so they're all expendable. And fragile egos will keep this company from ever becoming anything but a merch brand for YouTube fans. This has to be fake. This I'm is sorry. so obviously. You guys yeah. had Everybody potential drawing. to be great, but the <laughs> culture you guys decided on sealed your fate. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, that is. so you know what I mean? It's, it's hurtful. It sucks. And the website's so fucking stupid. There's literally nothing you can even do about it. You can't contest it. You can't, they don't verify employment. There's literally nothing to do about it. Actually, it sucks because it does affect, like, when we're trying to recruit people, people do go to that website and it really fucking sucks because they see all that shit. Mm -hmm. There's nothing yeah. to do about it. Do you guys remember Rate My Professor back yes. in the day? Yes. Uh, is that still yeah. around? Yes, was, it is. Still use that? They, yeah. they got rid of one of the features on there, which was the chili pepper. Um, 
Oh, oh if how hot! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I remember that. that. That's wild, yeah. Yeah. dude. That that website was revolutionary. I'd be so scared to be a teacher with that shit because it's like, oh, this be so painful. Well, that's what this reminds me of because not like when you would check that, you could always kind of like see the ones that was like, oh, this person failed hard in this class and they're upset about it mm -hmm. and they're just like going scorched earth yeah. right now to try and fuck yeah. the person over. And it's like just because you got an easy A doesn't mean they're good teacher the whole thing is like right. not fucking true <laughs> yeah people saying they regularly use it it's, yeah it's well so people are going. saying it's essential yeah it's essential. it is <laughs> yeah i used it you had that open while you're picking classes mm -hmm. at the same time that came out right as i was finishing school so i never really mm -hmm. got the benefit of using mm -hmm. it but it tripped me out when i saw that dude <laughs> jordan peterson has a 4.5 Rate my professor. Oh, no way. He's on there. Yeah. But it's all like, he's retired. It's all like fanboys of his that are right. in this case, wiki feeding yeah. it. So. We live in a society. <laughs> well, let's see what he says. Jordan Peterson is a living legend and an amazing human being. Quick speaking this to is you. Bro, this is from last month. Yeah. He, he hasn't taught a class in years. <laughs> he's a living legend. He is literally the most educated person you will ever meet. Literally become the what it, Joker. Literally. <laughs> you sons of bitches. <laughs> You're the worst. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> One of the most genuine, intelligent people you ever meet. His course was definitely tough. I could truly say I learned something. We got to start leaving reviews for Jordan Peterson. I'm <laughs> in pain. Ouchie. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know. And it sucks because, you know, you just that's that's what it is. So there you go. People demanding a response from us. There you have it. OK, I don't know what to say. If you don't believe it. There's nothing else I can really say about it, you know.